Hi, my name is Yujesh Desai, and I am the GeForce General Manager here at NVIDIA. So the latest card we're announcing, uh, we announced this past Tuesday, uh, March 18th, is the GeForce 9800 GX2. It's a dual GPU card, uh, so we haven't done a dual GPU card since the GeForce 7950 GX2. We're pretty excited about it because uh, it takes two of our 9800 GPUs, puts it on one card, and it is bar none the fastest graphics card on the planet. A lot of people talked about Crisis and how great a game Crisis was, but it was like graphically intense. It was like a graphics beast uh, when it came out, and a lot of people were playing Crisis, uh, you know, even on high-end GPUs from us uh, at 12 by 10. Well, with our 9800 GX2, because there's two GPUs on a single card, you can actually put two of them together in your PC, so you get what we call Quad SLI, or four GeForce GPUs, and you'll be able to, for the first time, you know, ever run Crisis at 19 by 12 with very high settings and all the eye candy DX10, you know, special effects turned on, and it's like truly breathtaking. You know, we really measure the performance per watt you get on the GPU and make sure that you know all of the the processor cores that we are putting in our GPU are running as efficiently as possible. Uh, and the GeForce 9800 GX2 it has two GPUs on it. Each GPU has 128 processor cores. Now you compare that to a CPU today, and the highest end CPU has four cores. We have 128 cores on our GPU, so totally kick ass for any type of visual computing app, especially like games. So you have 128 on one core, 128 on another. So on a GX2, you have 256 graphics cores, each clocked at 1.6 gigahertz. That's a lot of power, right? So that's the one thing. So in performance, especially on DirectX 10 games, uh, versus our previous generation, which was the GeForce 8800 GTX, I think in some games we're seeing a speed up of up to 100% faster, which is just really phenomenal, generation to generation. Uh, the other area is the features, and I think one of the coolest new features we've put on the 9 series, the high-end 9 series cards like the 9800 GX2 is what we call hybrid power. So hybrid power works in conjunction with our motherboard. You have to have a GeForce motherboard. Uh, the first one that we are introducing this on is what we call the N4780A for AMD CPUs, and that has a GeForce GPU down on the motherboard. We actually have a DVI connector on the motherboard, you plug your monitor into the motherboard connector, the motherboard DVI connector. You then take the 9800 GX2s, plug them into that motherboard. Right? So when you're playing a game like Crisis, all of the graphics on the add-in cards are doing all of the rendering. And you send it down through the motherboard GPU and out through the display. So you're using the power of those dual GPUs or quad GPUs to play your game. When you're not playing your game though, and you just want to listen to iTunes or maybe watch an, an HD BD movie or surf the web, you might want to turn off those graphics cards, right? Because you want to save your power bill. You know, you don't want those fans running. You don't want the heat that's coming off of those GPUs because in an SLI configuration, there is heat generated. So with hybrid power, you go into the control panel, turn off those GPUs and they completely shut down. And now you're using the GeForce motherboard GPU to power all of your productivity applications. So it's a really cool new feature, and it takes a lot of integration, a lot of testing, uh, a lot of work between the motherboard GPU and the discrete add-in card GPU, and a lot of software to bring all that together. And if you can imagine the QA effort that goes into testing every single game and making sure it works when you're switching between you know, the add-in card and the motherboard GeForce, it's a, it's a tremendous amount of work, but our team has been working really hard over the last year to, to pull it all together and, and we're launching it here with the, the 9800 GX2 and we're pretty excited about that. So it's launching on Tuesday, March 18th and uh, that is a single 9800 GX2 which is our dual GPU card. Uh, a week later, which is March 25th, we're going to be posting a driver on our website to support Quad SLI.